Why howdy people, I'm a ginger and I'm disgruntled. Why am I disgruntled? Because I still don't have Mighty Number no. 9. Capcom, that wonderful company behind such things as Street Fighter and Mega Man, a while back decided, hey, we need to cut costs, so uh, we're cutting the department that makes our Mega Man games. Which left Mega Man creator Keiji Inafune, hopefully I'm saying that name right, out in the cold. And what does he do? He creates his own company to continue the franchise. Just without the license, because Capcom still has that. And thus, Mighty Number no. 9 was born. And yes, I know, there's been delays, there's been apologies, there's been pieces missing that were originally promised, but cut the guy some slack! He just started up his own gaming company, do you know how difficult that is? I mean, he just ran a department, not an entire gaming company. So, good example here, how many years was it between Mega Man 9 and Mega Man 10? Three. Three years. Yeah, it takes a while to get games going. But anyway, he can't continue with the license, like I said, because Capcom still has it. And they haven't really been letting it sit idle too much. I mean, take the game Street Fighter Cross Tekken, for example. See? He's right there! Pardon me a moment, that's a taste of bile at the back of my throat. <laughs> me, personally, I've been a Mega Man fan for years. I love the games, they have so much replay value to them. This whole situation just leaves a bad taste in your mouth. And this is not the type of shame you can wash away, or gargle. So, I figured this was the perfect opportunity to start off my little series I like to call... Love the game? Hate this part. Where I take a look at some of our favorite games, and then take a little bit closer look at the spots and blemishes that we don't really talk about, but we know are there. So, to start this off, let's go with the classic Mega Man series. And as I said, I love this series. I mean, from the complex puzzles that... Uh, to the memorable bosses with distinct fighting styles and weaponry you can take from them and use on everything else to your heart's content, there's just so many good elements to these games, not to mention the controls are spot on. It's all these elements together that make these games so replayable, and the reason why we keep coming back to them time and time again. Now before we get started, I just want to note that I break down love-hate into categories. And with the original Mega Man series, the category we're going to be focusing on here is a specific part in a game that you have to get through, but it's just pain. Sheer pain. Oh, I'm sure everyone can think of examples in good games of parts that they really don't like going through. Yes! <laughs> so, guess which one of the games I'm going to be focusing on? Just take a guess. Have you guessed yet? I'm sure some of you will be able to guess. We're gonna take a look at Mega Man 8. Yes, the only PlayStation edition of the original Mega Man. And oh my goodness, did it have problems. Don't get me wrong, it was a good game, it's just... The controls were kinda clunky, Mega Man felt a bit slow compared to the other games, but that's not what I'm focusing on. Oh no, what I'm focusing on... Alright, here's your time to guess again. Have you got it yet? Let me give you a hint. Jump! 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 Slide! 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 Oh! Oh, that annoys me so much. It only shows up in two stages, one of them being Frostman's stage. And yes, it's not that hard, but still. The jump, jump, slide, slide, oh, that grates on your nerves. Yeah, but that's only one aspect I'm focusing on. Oh, there's a second, and when I mention it, for those of you in the know, it'll come together. The second part I'm gonna mention is the Mega Ball. That weird l can you even call it a weapon? I mean, sure, you can kick it around and make it hit enemies and it bounces all over the place, which makes it hard to control unless you know the exact angle it's gonna go at. But I digress. You can also use it to give you a boost, much like in the earlier games with the Rush Coil. But anyway, we weren't talking about these elements by themselves. We're talking combined, yes. So a little bit of spoilers here if you haven't played through, but we're gonna go straight to the first Dr. Wily stage. Yes, I said it, Dr. Wily. How could you not expect him to be the bad guy in this? He's a bad guy in every single Mega Man game, come on. Anyway, the majority of the level consists of, you guessed it, jump, jump, slide, slide. And yes, this section is difficult, 
except when you've had a lot of practice for it, or you're trying to record it for a video and you get through it on the first try. Of course, my luck. Then you have a normal segment, but right at the end, what do we have? A boss. Well, duh, there's a boss at the end of every stage. <laughs> anyway, guess what weapon you've used for this boss. Take a guess. That's right, the Mega Ball! Well, let's see. There's four channels in the ceiling. The boss drops down in one of them randomly. He doesn't come down far enough to hit him with even the Mega Buster. So you either use Tornado Hold, which doesn't seem to do anything, or... The flippin' Mega Ball. Yes, and like I said, unless you know the exact angle it goes at, aiming this stupid thing is a pain and a half! But once you get through that, you don't have to worry about the sled or the Mega Ball anymore, unless you really want to worry about the Mega Ball, but who cares about it? And yes, I reiterate, lining up the shots is a pain! But sure, the boss drops boxes where you can refill the energy if you get low, but it's still constantly dropping other enemies that you have to worry about while you're trying to line up your stupid shot before he goes back into the ceiling! <gasps> but that's all I'm going to say about that. So anyway, there we go. The original Mega Man. A great series, but with a couple of soft spots in it. <laughs> and here you guys thought I was going to talk about block puzzles. Oh, and yes, Heat Man stage is still a pain. So that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, if you have an opinion, you agree, disagree, whatever, the comments below is where it goes. So there we go, the first example of love-hate. Next time, we'll be focusing on a different sort of example, one that's a bit more extreme. But for now, thank you guys for watching. I take a look at some of our favorite games of all time. Yes, you make a great first stole, you know that? She loves this for some reason. Yeah. <laughs>